Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Shivam. Today I'm gonna be showing you that how you can downgrade your device from iOS 14 back to iOS 13 without losing any data. This video is sponsored by Tenorshare. It unlocks iPhone, Apple ID and lock screen. It bypasses iPhone password instantly. You can get Tenorshare for your key software on Mac and Windows. Check out the website link in the description below. Okay, this video gonna be long around 10 to 12 minutes. So use that timestamp below. I'll mention in the description. I'm running on iOS 14 and as you can see, uh, there are a lot of bugs. Uh, this is Twitter and as you can clearly see there is a box that you just i just can't see my followers and you know how many people i'm following and there we go you just see the status there is some issue with the twitter so twitter is not supporting ios 14 beta another issue is you just can't uh, uh, see anything you are typing here uh, when you are putting upi pin and let's say if you are any there are many apps so for example icici bank upi transaction i just want to use that pending request option i just can't do that because it is not supporting ios 14 so there there is a lot of uh, apps that doesn't support ios 14 beta another reason to downgrade there is a significant battery drainage on uh, ios 14 beta and as you can see airdrop also that doesn't work for most of the people uh, i found on twitter so these are the reason that uh, you want you might want to downgrade uh, to the ios 13 now guys let's talk about how to downgrade the device first thing first we require a mac or windows computer without this you just can't downgrade your device i'm using mac to do this uh, you might have windows computer it doesn't matter process will be the same so make sure you have a itunes on your device if you have a mac computer there will be pre-installed uh, itunes on your mac now very importantly take a backup make sure you take a backup i already have a backup by this end of the video i'll show you how to restore your backup to the mobile so make sure you watch this video till the end now head over to uh, safari or chrome and uh, make sure you type ipsw.me i'll link down in the description so once you've done that choose ipad ipod or iphone i'm going to choose iphone and there we go all the version uh, iphone version will be available so i have iphone 7 plus and there is global version and gsm version gsm version means it is uh, useful for the us citizen and uh, there is a global version which is available for globally means uh, i'm going to choose global because i stayed in you know, i am staying in uk so click on that and there we go you just uh, see sign version is will be 13.5.1 uh, uh, it can be any version when you are downgrading so make sure you have to choose the sign version red version which is unsigned means it will be in the red version uh, red uh, color so don't do that you just can't downgrade it. downgrade if any version is unsigned so make sure you take a green one which is signed so as you can see i already downloaded and i am I'm, I'm going to cancel this because i already have that uh, now if you are on windows make sure you go to this itunes uh, i'll mention in the description so make sure you go to this uh, website and you want to choose windows and 64 bit or 32 bit whatever version you have now uh, download this itunes and install on your windows and once you've done that now uh, just uh, connect your device and there we go uh, you, you will see the windows uh, sorry itunes on your uh, computer so i have a mac as you can see in finder i will have that option so you have that restore iphone make sure you want to click um shift uh, control if you are on windows and if you are on mac you might want to um, use option button to choose that as you can see you need to um, turn off that uh, find my iphone so before you doing this and i forgot to for tell you one thing in this video you might want once you've done that backup wipe out all your data means reset your phone and then try to restore your device if you are on windows use control and restore data i'm using mac means i'm using option plus restore iphone and you just want to select that ipsw soft file just choose that and hit restore so once you've done that it will start uh, restoring all the data on your iphone and this process will, uh, will take some time so i'm going to speed up this process so your iphone uh, has been restored and factory it will reset all the data make sure you do that do that before itself why because uh, there will be some issues uh, means if you don't reset it i haven't done this 
but later on i done it myself means i should have reset my device okay but anyways the process will be same if you don't do that also no uh, no problem once you uh, restore your device uh, there will be option of resetting uh, setting and all that it's a little bit process make sure you do that as i said it will take uh, 5 to 10 minutes so i speed up the process and i'll get back to you now as you can see the process has been done finally and we are downgraded to ios 13 successfully and we just get that window i'll just speed up this process Uh, just follow the step don't do anything um, just set your device as a new device and uh, uh, why because we already have a backup so I'll go I'm going to show you how to back uh, restore your backup you can see I'm uh, back to as 13.5.1 and there we go we just uh, um, almost set all the data is wiped out on the, from the phone uh, you just can't see anything any apps and uh, you just see the app no, iTunes also not there and there is no photos anything so all the data is wiped out and we just want to get back our data so follow the steps now head over to itunes and there we have a restore backups so if you have earlier taken backup um, now we are going to restore that backup so hit uh, restore backup so as you can see we got error could not restore the iphone uh, because the backup was not compatible with the iphone that is being restored uh, this is this is because of uh, we are restoring from ios 13 uh, 14 to 13 so that uh, backup is not compatible with ios 13 we need to change that setup now to fix that error uh, make sure you see what i'm doing press option then you will see the library hit on library and head over to application support folder and find out mobile sync and there we go we just have that backup and you this is the backup which i have taken and now scroll down until you see info.plist and open with uh, other app and scroll down you will see text edit so hit on that application and there we go it's a text editor now if you are on a mac uh, type command f option and type a product so once you uh, type a product it will search for the product wherever product is there just little bit down you will see a 14.0 and that's it you just might want to change that uh, 14 to 13 so once you've done that it will start um, you know it will be compatible to restore from uh, to ios 13 so once you've done that hit done and cancel it so it will be saved uh, that's it now this process is for the windows user if you have a, a same issue now head over to uh, search option uh, you might want to search for a percent percentage app data percentage so if you see that uh, there is a path we just got it uh, my windows version there is a path for this some of the user uh, which uh, if they don't get that path you just might want to type um, percentage user profile percentage so once you done that um, you will get that file so in my case i have in this path so i'm going to go to that path app data and make sure you go to the apple computer app data roaming apple computer you, you can see the path and you have that backup once you have that backup just head over to that backup and scroll down you will see info now right click on it and open with wordpress and uh, if a wordpress doesn't show up for you choose another app and uh, go to the more apps and scroll down and you will see wordpress so in my case i already choose that one so as you can see there is a wordpress just hit ok now once you done that um, there will be a list of that uh, p list and now you might want to search product so once you search product you will see uh, product option uh, that there, there are three product option and uh, uh, slightly below you can see 14.0 and change that to th uh, 13 once you done that just save it and uh, that's it we are done now you can restore your uh, backup from windows now head over to mac and as you can see i'm using this so uh, simply uh, we're done now just hit restore backup and there we go that that's my backup and hit restore 
once you've done that it will start restoring on your device so there we go you just, you just can see restore in progress and it will take a lot of time depends on your backup for me it's around a 90 uh, 90 gb backup so it taking a lot of time and it took me around like half hour so i'm going to speed up this process guys one quick note when backup is running don't touch your device keep keep connected your device to the mac or computer and let it done by itself so as you can see backup has been completed just provide your password and setup uh, just um, you know do your setup and um, provide your itunes password and all that so that's it we just you know restore our backup welcome to iphone so when you restore your backup there will be a lot of apps which are not re, uh, you know installed properly so all the apps will be there data will be there there will be nothing lost uh, once you restore your device uh, turn on the wifi connect the charging cable and keep your device for a uh, uh, half hour side by this way all the apps will uh, download automatically now as you can see uh, if you have ios 14 beta uh, profile installed so you might want to delete that and if the beta is already installed on your uh, storage you just go to the storage and delete that um, ios 14 beta um, if you, if it is installed on your device now head over to profile and uh, ios 14 beta software just remove that profile and there we go now our device is up to date and now as you can see uh, ios 13.5 is up to date and there we go you just turn off uh, auto updates now as you can see uh, device has been completely set up and all the uh, data has been restored that's it for today guys i uh, hope you make this far and uh, if you done that if you like this video subscribe my channel and hit that bell icon to get notified i'll catch you in the next video this is shivam signing off and it's always peace